go through the answers to uh, Wednesday's homework. Right, so top, no. So the top is 2x squared minus x minus 1. There's an invisible 1 there, so I'm just going to put it in. It's got one, one, two, three terms, which means it's a trinomial. So the guide is 2 multiplied by minus 1. So the guide is minus 2. There's only one set of factors, 1 multiplied by 2. And we need to make it work to get minus 1. Um, plus and minus. That's right, isn't it? So plus 1 minus 2 equals minus 1. Yep. And then if you want to check the multiply, plus 1 multiplied by minus 2. Signs are different, so the answer is minus, and 2 by 1 is 2, so that gives you this. Now, there was no need to check this because there wasn't two options. But anyway. Okay, so we do the expanded version of it. So 2x squared, then I go here, plus 1, but don't forget to put the x in. Then here, minus 2, put the x on, and then back up here, minus 1. Okay, so bracket off our groups. Okay. Two and one. It's just one. Um, and then I have an x common because I have two of them here and one of them here. So open up my brackets, get my green. I'm going to divide by one x here and I'm going to divide by one x here. Two divided by one is two. And then this x will remove one of the x's here, leaving one behind. This is a positive 1x, so the signs are the same, leaving you with plus. 1 divided by 1 is 1, and this x and this x are gone. Uh, signs are the same here, so I can take out a minus. Uh, 2 and 1 is 1, and there's only the x here, so no common letter. Open up the brackets, divide by minus 1, divide by minus 1. Signs are the same, so that's plus, but it's a leading plus, so I won't write it. 2 divided by 1 is 2, and then I have my x. Signs are the same, so it's plus, and 1 divided by 1 is 1. Uh, check that they match. So here I have a plus 2x, and here I have a plus 2x. And here I have a plus 1, and here I have a plus 1. So I write down my matching brackets. And I write down my common factors in a bracket. Okay, so that is my top line complete. I'm just going to move this down a little further. Okay, so let's do the bottom line. Um, Okay, so we have uh, 4x plus 2. Okay, so it's not a trinomial. Um, because it doesn't have three terms. Um, is it a difference of two squares? We look at our letter, and the letter is not squared. So it's not a difference of two squares. Also, it's plus, so it's definitely not. So then we're down to the usual. It's either a highest common factor or there's nothing. So is there a common factor between 4 and 2? There is. It's 2. Open up the bracket. I'm going to divide by 2 here and divide by 2 here. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then you have the x. Plus, oh, sorry. This is positive 2. So signs are the same. So plus and 2 divided by 2 is 1. And that's my bottom line. So let's go back in here. The top line is now 2x plus 1. 1x minus 1 and the bottom line is 2 times 2x plus 1. Does anything cancel? It does, the 2x plus 1's cancel and that leaves me with 1x minus 1 over 2. Just highlight the answer there. All right, we keep going. Um, second one, top line 
is 16x squared minus 25. Sorry, just gonna break into this. Okay, just so it doesn't look confusing. Okay, so is it a, a trinomial? It's not. Why? Um, because there's only two terms. Okay, so next thing is difference of two squares. So we look, and is our letter squared? Here's our letter here. Is it squared? It is. So good start. Is it a minus? It is. Excellent. So then we look at the numbers. So we have 16 and we have 25. Are they squares? They are. 16 comes from 4 and 25 from 5. Okay, so it is a difference of two squares. So we open up and square minus open up and square. So 16x squared is comes from 4x and 25 comes from 5. Then you open up your big brackets and you do first minus second, first plus second. Again, identical brackets except for the signs and no squares. Yeah? Okay. Bottom. Okay, so the bottom is 4x minus 5. Uh, is it a trinomial? Nope. Only two terms. Is it a difference of two squares? If you look here at the um, letter, it doesn't have a square, so no, it's not a difference of two squares. So then back at, yet again to either highest common factor or nothing. So is there a highest common factor between 4 and 5? There's only one, again, and one doesn't make a difference. So this one can't be done. There's no factorization. That E definitely shouldn't be there. Okay, so no factorization on that one, which means we just leave it be. Okay, so top line is 4x minus 5, 4x plus 5 over, sorry, don't need a bracket there, over 4x minus 5. So 4x minus 5 cancels with the 4x minus 5, and we are left with 4x plus 5 as our final answer. Okay, so make your corrections there and let me know if there's any issues. Uh, I've checked a couple and um, I normally look at about six or seven copies and they actually look pretty good, which is great because this is kind of combining quite a few skills. Um, so yeah, but if there are any issues and yours was a copy I didn't check, um, do let me know.